Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to continue on with this thing because I kind of want to and uh, it just seems like a good idea. So, we're going to go ahead and maybe add some more engines. I want to add two more engines. Uh, you guys also suggested that I try this thing out against waves. It's not really supposed to be used against waves, so I think we'll just go to like 20%, something like that, and we'll see what it's like against that. Um, here we go. 20%? Doesn't appear to have changed anything. Is there even any waves? Not really. Anyway, uh, it does actually feel kind of stable, so I kind of like it anyway. Uh, and I think it's going to do pretty good, which I like. You know, it's really nice. Really, really nice. Hey! All right, okay, so we're just going to grab this boat real quickly. There we go, very nice. Uh, I said I was going to add some more engines. I don't know whether I actually want to add more engines or if I want to make this thing more usable in terms of everything else, if that makes sense. Uh, but realistically, if we grab this engine and we move it forwards, we move it sideways, all right, like this, we go downwards, we should be able to grab, like, everything, if that makes sense. We can grab this as well. And, yeah, that is actually a good idea right there. All right, cool. So... We're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to move it outwards. We're going to move it upwards. We're going to paste it right here real quick. And we're going to sort some things out. We're going to obviously delete these because they're not necessary. We're going to replace them with these things. And we're also going to do this. All right, very nice. That is pretty much it. That's all I want to do, I think. I think that's all I want to do. Uh, I think we actually need to delete these. And we need to replace those with these. Uh, and then it should actually be like, we should be able to just put it in. So, let's go ahead and grab it again. Here we go. Cut it. Nice. Move it downwards. Go ahead and put it in right there. And we'll move it to a place where we can actually use it, if that makes sense. So, move it forwards. So, we're not interrupting anything. Backwards slightly. There we go. Paste it about uh, about there. There we go. Oh, no. We're going to delete things. Paste it there. All right. Paste it there. Merge it together. There we go. Take it to the other side, and we'll have another one on the other side. Press U, and paste. All right, cool. Merge this one, and we're good. Nice. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, it does mean that this bit right here is a little bit odd, but I guess it kind of works, and that's okay. Kind of works, and that is okay. Right, so let's get this piece. We'll make it red. We'll put it on the other side as well. Put these back. Delete them. There we go. Put this in, and voila. That actually doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all. Alright, cool. We're going to delete these ones as well. And we're going to put that in there. And I think that actually ends up making it look okay. That makes it look okay. Uh, that does mean, then, that we've got two more engines. And uh, they should work. Now, they all always need propellers as well. They actually need propellers too. Which doesn't really make too much sense. But um, it's what we've got, you know? Alright, there we go. So... Uh, I put these propellers in on the bottom. They are probably too low, so they're going to mess us up a little bit. Uh, but they should be fine. So, if we grab a pipe. Sorry, that says poop. Pope. I don't know what that says. Uh, we're going to grab a pipe. We're going to delete the floor. Uh, all the way to the... Fr oh, we can't. We actually can't because these pieces go down here. But I think we should be able to go around the outside. Yeah, we totally can. We can go around the outside. Take it backwards. All right, cool. Um... Do this piece as well. Take it backwards. There we go. I don't think we're deleting anything as we do this. All right. Awesome. And I think we just take it to here. Although, realistically, it's only one pipe that we need. It is actually only one pipe that we need. All right. Let me attach these together then. And then we'll figure that out. Okay. So, a T-pipe. We're going to put that, obviously, like this. We're going to put an angled pipe attaching those together. And then we're going to delete this. Straight line to here. Go round it. Take it to the front. And I think that's where we need to be. Is it? Is this where we need to be? A little bit further back, actually. I think to about here. All right, cool. Delete all of those. Yeah, because then we need to go up there. All right, so our propellers are actually fine. All right, put that right there. Grab ourselves a straight pipe. Put it in here. Drag it backwards to here. Very nice. Do these ones. Drag it backwards to here. And attach these two together. Here we go. Put this in. Like this, and put this in like this. All right, very nice. And then I think we can just take this upwards. And then if we could put a gearbox in here, 
and also a clutch, if we can somehow fit that, that'd be great. Okay, another thing that I'm going to do as well is this one's going to have a completely separate... It's going to have a separate tank uh, for fuel. I don't know whether this is a good or a bad idea, but I think it's it's an idea nevertheless. Alright, okay, so we need a gearbox. And the gearbox is going to go probably right here. Alright, but it's got to be pointing towards the engine. So I'm going to put the gearbox right there. Okay, we need a pipe uh, to make this thing go upwards. Okay, so it's going to go up like that. We then want to put a clutch on that piece right there. We then want to grab another one of these. And we want to take it sideways. Delete this. Make this go sideways like this. All right, awesome. Have it then come downwards and then come backwards like this. Grab this piece. Make it attach on. And there we go. we got a gearbox. And <laughs> we've also got a clutch. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Maybe this could be a booster engine. Like, this could be an engine that's not necessarily on all the time. And I think that would actually probably work. Yeah, okay. Let's have a mini uh, fuel tank right here. There we go. Mini fuel tank is going to go in. Um, like this, I guess. And then like this. And then like this. All right, pretty good. And this is going to be a mini fuel tank in the front end. Which I like. I like the idea of. Pretty cool. Alright, okay, cool. Delete these. We want to have a fluid port. There we go. We want to have a fluid spawner. And a fluid meter as well. There we go. Fluid meter, fluid spawner. Put those in. We want to attach those together via a pipe. That would be great. Here we go. And that engine is now in and pretty much ready to go. We need to change this gear ratio to be right. Which I don't know whether... What is right? 9 of 5, 9 of 5, 9 of 5, alright, okay, cool, 9 to 5, 9 to 5, we need to do this one as well, 9 to 5, and minus 1, alright, cool, and then, um, we need this, I I'm just gonna put it on the main engine at the moment, uh, cause I think that'll be good, I think that'll work, and we're gonna put the WNS on the clutch, there we go, we're gonna attach these all to the electricity, I don't actually have... Uh, a thing right now. I don't actually have a thing right now. Um, generators. I don't have any generators at all. But they're easy to put in, so we'll just do that later. Uh, right, that's okay. Good. So, this is actually going to work. That's good. This is going to work too, which is also good. And I think both engines are actually just going to run and hopefully be fine. Let's test it out. Let's see how this goes. All right, inside we go. Very nice. Go ahead and press 1. Start up those engines. Oh, that one at the front isn't going to start. It's not going to start because reasons. Uh, because this, sorry, no. This isn't attached to one, whereas it should be. So there we go, starters. Uh, as well as that, actually, two should be on the gearboxes. So that we can actually reverse. Because at the moment, we can't. <laughs> at the moment, we can't reverse at all. So there we go. Now we've got a reverse. we got a forwards. We've got our boat. We've got three engines on each side. And we're ready to go. Here we go. I think we need to change the gear ratios. I do. I think we need to change the gear ratios because I don't think this made us any faster. It might have, but I don't think it did. All right, let's change the gear ratios once because I think we're still running at like a high RPM. So if we make it two to one instead, two to one. Oh, actually, let's go one further. Five to two. Let's do it. Five to two on every single engine. We'll see if we go any faster. If not, we'll drop it down one. And then if not again, we'll drop it down again. Alright, there we go. Cool. 5 to 2. Let's see if this works. I hope it does. I really do. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Come on, let me in. These engines are actually pretty powerful, so I'm expecting it to work. Here we go. Okay, okay. It's still revving up. It's still revving up. It's still revving up. 53. We're sort of taking off a little bit. Alright, we're a little bit too fast. We're a little bit too fast. We got up to like 53. That is... Okay, let's drop it down a little bit. Drop it down a little bit. I think a speed of about 40 is pretty good. Yeah. How much is that in miles an hour? Okay, so 50 is actually 111 miles an hour. And 40 is 90 miles an hour. So this thing can actually reach 100. 
if we had a stability system that allows us to stay in the water, essentially. So we'll have to add something like that in order for it to actually work. This is with a slight bit of wind. So we've obviously got that issue a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it totally works, which is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome indeed. All right, if we go on the outside, close this up. If we run to the front, we can actually see these engines. Yeah, we can see the engines. So we should be able to jump down here and actually put out fires if we need to. Which is pretty nice. That is pretty nice indeed. Awesome. That is, that is epic, actually. Let's put, like, some little lights on this thing. Get it moving properly. Get it working. Get the lights working as well. And then I think we'll be good to go for today. All right, okay, cool. So, uh, for these lights, we're just going to put on a block, uh, which is going to be the light. We're going to put those on the tippity top, and they're going to point forwards, I think. Uh, no, they should probably point sideways. There we go, something like this. We're going to put a piece like this on the front. We're going to put a piece like this on the side. And we're going to put this here. Very nice. On the back end, we're going to have this. Go like this. And we're also going to have one of these in there. And that is our nav lights set up. They're going to go right there. And they're going to look pretty good, I think. Okay, so how do these work? I think right is green. So we're going to grab a green. And we're going to go on the right side. Right is green. Red is left. There we go. And there we go. That's it. That's all we need to do. Nav lights in. Um, we also need a real one. So we'll put one here. Uh, which is fine, I think. Here we go. This is going to go right here. It's going to be white. Because they're usually white. But I'm going to make it grey. And that looks fine to me. It looks a little bit strange. Looks like little ears. But it'll work. And yeah, we're good. Alright, so I am actually going to put a little light in here too. Here we go. Uh, sorry, a little button. Uh, and this button is going to be for the lights. For the nav lights. We're just going to put it right there. This is going to be nav lights. Here we go. And that's going to just connect straight up to those. And that's going to be fine. There we go. We got nav lights on board. Our little ship. And that's good. There we go. All right, cool. We need to attach those to a battery of some of some sort. There we go. And then I think from here, we're going to go down to both of these. Attach these to each other. Attach these to each other. And attach these to each other, I guess. And they can go up to there. All right, pretty nice. That's actually pretty good. So our nav lights will now work. We don't have any spotlights. We're not going to do that yet. Um, but this is actually pretty epic. I like it. Okay, so inside we go. Let's go ahead and change it to nighttime. Make sure these nav lights actually work. And nav lights on. There we go. Yeah, they do. They totally work. That's awesome. That is actually epic. Nice. It does, however, still kind of want to take off, which is a little bit interesting. But um, that's fine. That is a-okay. Let's go ahead and change it back to 12. There we go. Turn ourselves around a little bit. Let's get a little picture with this thing. And I think that's going to be it for today, I think. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. We added an extra engine, which is nice. That is actually really nice. Yeah. All right, let's take a picture. And, um, yeah. That's awesome. That is actually awesome. Nice. All right, cool. Well, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.